Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bria. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Today we're going to be talking about how to do body sculpting. First thing when your client walks in, you want to welcome them, um, do the proper consultation that's getting to know what their pain points are. And then once you, after you do the, con the consultation, then you want to go ahead and explain the procedure to them and how the machines work. So then once they have a clear understanding of how everything is working, and then you want to go ahead and clean your machine and you want to go ahead and clean off your table. And then you either take your before pictures and then lay them down or you just go ahead and lay them down. And then um, once they're laying on the table, you ask them, do they want to hear any music? Because you're going to be doing the um, ultrasound cavitation. So with that, it is like a loud buzzing noise in your ears. Some people do want to listen to music, some don't mind it. But either way, they do get used to the sound that's going through their ears. So after that, then you want to go ahead and turn the mach machine on. Once the machine is on, you grab the probe and then you start, um, well, no, after that, you want to put your ultrasound cavitation gel on there, on their stomach. This is where we're going to be working at. So once you put the ultrasound cavitation gel on their stomach, move it all around, make sure it's even and not like just blobbed on there. Then you have your probe and go in your motions. So how I do, um, if I'm going like from side to side, I want to go, let's say this is the probe. So if you're working on the stomach and you're going from one side to the other side, I go clockwise. So I'll go um, from one side clockwise to the other side and I'll do that for about like six to eight times so um, I'm not sure how everyone else does it but I just count just so I know I'm making everything even I'll go four to did I say four to six or six to eight I think I said six to eight yeah so six to eight clockwise not counterclockwise because you do not want to back their system up so you always clockwise never counterclockwise so then once you're, um, I mean, so there's like different ways to do it. So you can either go, because you're going to be doing it. Um, the duration is 30 minutes to an hour, 45 minutes is the sweet spot. Counterclockwise, sides, do that six to eight times, six to eight times. Make sure it's always flat. So you want to keep the probe all the way flat because some people go like this with the probe and they're going like this. No, just keep it flat like that. Um, that gives better results. And if you, because you're, you're not all the way doing it right, if you're just going like this and the probe is like that, you want to make sure the probe is all the way flat on the skin at all times. Um, sorry. <laughs> so then once you're doing that, so it's like you're either doing one side for six to eight times and you want to drain it, drain down, not up because that's just not the way to go. So you go down and I always follow up with my free hand, I always follow down, just get everything out of the lymphatic system, drain everything down. So um, there's just, these are different ways to do it. If you're doing the weights, go like that. Make sure it's flat, consistently and flat same amount of times if you want to just count in your head make sure you're doing it even on both sides that's the way to go so once you're done with the procedure you're going to clean them off take your after pictures and make sure you tell them the aftercare instructions and then you want to follow up three to seven days never the day after because you don't want to overload the system the lymphatic system so um yeah, basically that's how you do body contouring. Um, it's 
not much to know. I mean, but there is much to know at the same time because you want to make sure that you're doing it right. But if you guys like this video, please leave a like, a comment. Don't forget to subscribe.